today we are looking at featured team of the week 88 rated Mavadidi. you can see here he's high medium he's had plus one on skill moves and plus one on weak foot he can play left mid left wing or striker and he has some really good stats 95 acceleration 95 sprint speed good finishing good shot power good passing not the best composure but we'll sort that out and in terms of traits, got outside the foot shot. So we've gone for a dead eye today and I'll explain Chem Styles pricing, what thought about the card, and best positioning at the end of the review on Footbin. That being said, let's go jump into the game and have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are going to be playing Mavadidi as a striker today. He can definitely play out wide, but I wanted to test him up front. We'll be playing our 4 triple 2 system, so he's going to be sort of going out wide at times and playing up front at the same time. His main job today is to really test out his acceleration, his sprint speed, of course his ability to finish and his link-up play, and most importantly how he feels on the balls. So we do get him on the ball here, nice little layoff. Looking for the triangles, back in if we can find him, not quite. But you can see that's the type of role he's going to be playing, like a link-up striker. And I'm just desperate to see how good this card is compared to his 77 common. So he's had an absolute, I think it's a plus 11 boost, which is absolutely huge for a card like this. Adidi now driving. Oh, using that pace. And that is an absolute fantastic start. Using that acceleration and sprint speed to blow past. And having that dead eye on to maximize that shot power is exactly why we did it. And you can see there it's already coming in. That's a really good start from him. It feels explosive into the dribble, that's for sure. Driving, looking for the space, can play it out wide. And a good save from the goalkeeper. We'll have a look at his set pieces here. See how good he is at doing set pieces. So, Mavadidi is absolutely terrible at them. So, we won't be taking them with him. But at least we know that now. I wish EA would boost the stats on that like the card represents. Mavadidi here takes a touch. Outside the foot shot and a good AI block there. Very unlucky. In terms of doing a snapshot, he's really good. Underway, can I tell? Got Mavadidi peeling through. Can we get behind? We can. Now, can we use that pace? Go on, Bappe at the top. Can we find him? Cross. Oh my god, inch perfect cross, and then Bappe's bottled it. What a good pass, though. You can see how quick he is on breaking through the line, and that's going to cause a lot of people troubles. He reminds me of uh, like an Adama Traore in some ways. Left foot across goal, and what a finish. That four star weak foot upgrade coming in. He reminds me of Adama Traore 100%. He's so quick on the ball. This is going to be a super sub of dreams. Or even a Gelson Martins from last year. He's very similar to that guy. Driver, now we have pace. And you can see he's already on his way. Driving all the way through. Our opponent's trying to catch us. We've been absolutely tripped and made us red time. But you can see no defender can catch him. Looking for the space. Got Mavadidi there. Lovely touch in. Snapshot. And there's his hat trick for him. And this card could be a cheap beast. That is for sure. An absolute cheat code. If you need somebody in your team who is quick and responsive, he must be a must-buy player, that's for sure. Let's go counter-attack. Got Mavadidi on last man. Got Mbappe overlapping. Can we find him? We can. Play ball over the top. It's gone a bit wide for my liking. We do manage to win the header, but it doesn't unfortunately go to his feet. So, use that pace. Oh, there he goes. Did a power shot, and we get absolutely hacked down there. Wanted to try the power shot on the break, but you can see how quick he is in between the lines. Mavadidi on last man. Can we find him? Can we explode through? Not quite that time. We do force an error. Oh, Mavadidi on his own in a box. That's not what you want your opponent to do. If you want to concede a goal, it's the quickest way to do it. Little phantom glide. Let's hit dribble into the snapshot. And there's another goal. This card is ridiculous. What am I seeing with this card? He's so quick on the left stick. He's so quick going into full sprint. He's got an absolute rocket of a shot on him as well. Mavadidi peeling through. Oh, he's one on one. That's Maldini trying to keep up. Red time shot, unfortunately for me there. Bad timing. But you can see, though, just how quick he explodes away. Got one more attack if we're lucky. Just find him. Adivi. There he is. And there's another goal from him. I think we've seen enough. There's so many, so many times I can show you goals. Let's go jump onto Footbin now. So we are on Footbin. He's about 45k right now. And I imagine he's going to rise a little bit and then heavily drop down once Team of the Year is out of the way. You can see he's controlled. And we went for a dead eye because he's mainly under controlled. I would honestly not bother going to make him lengthy. Went for dead eye because I wanted to maximise his shooting and his short passing. Because I was playing him in that more attacking role in terms of a striker slash left wing. 
or right wing. I needed him to be really clinical up front, and I think we saw that today of how clinical he was. Even though he has an average body type and a quite high agility and balance, his left stick dribbling is so good for somebody that's six foot. That was something that really surprised me. His weak foot getting that upgrade as well made him really good. That left foot finish that we saw in the review. There is a bit of a split here between engine, marksman, finisher, and architect. Personally, like I said, I wouldn't bother going for architect. If you're on old gen, you could definitely look at finisher to boost up that agility, balance, and as well as finishing shot power, etc. But I do think Dead Eye is a much better choice for the position I was using him. He can play left mid, left wing, right mid, right wing. Up front, second striker, first striker. He could be a super sub of dreams, that is for sure. But if you have any more questions about this card or any other card in the game, comment down below. I do a lot of reviews on everything else. I think his price will drop down a little bit more, like I mentioned. You're probably looking around 20 to 30k max within the next week. Don't forget, once Team of the Year is out of the way, we've got Future Stars. Future Stars, there are a lot of packs in the, the swaps, so there are going to be a lot of opportunities. And I would personally try and go through some of the Premium League and upgrades to try and get him on the even cheaper for untradeable if you can. But as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. See ya.